Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Kyle Anderson, BamiInsider.com, coming to you on Wednesday, October 2nd. Alabama don't stop during the bye week, and we got an opportunity to watch Alabama work in the indoor facility, as you can see, the Crimson Tide right here. This is the defense. It's Jordan Battle, and I think he's one of the freshmen that has really impressed during the 2019 season. One guy who's certainly getting a lot of reps. Here's another guy who's looked good. He really hasn't gotten onto the field, but he continues to look good in drills, and I think eventually you're going to see a lot of him. That's DeMarco Hellams, uh, Marcus Banks. You're going to see him right here in this next clip. He's kind of spot-shadowed there in the center. And a lot of these guys that are younger, I mean, they're getting playing time. They're getting reps. Here's one guy who's a veteran, Xavier McKinney, just looks completely... Uh, you know, he, he looks the part. So does this guy, Trayvon Diggs, who's having a great season. And then he had Patrick Sartan as well. Patrick Sartan is, um, you know, having a strong season as a sophomore. Really one of the more physical cornerbacks in college football, in my opinion. Moving over to the inside linebackers, there's Big Bad Shane Lee getting a drink of water. And, I mean, you can just see the size of Lee and Christian Harris. Christian Harris is number eight. Lee is number 35. Those guys working with Pete Golding, who's a defensive coordinator. And Golding has gotten a lot of flack lately. You know, a lot of the defensive woes have been on him. And I'm kind of curious to see if any adjustments are made going into this Texas A&M game. Is it more of a Pete Golding thing or is it more of a freshman thing? I mean, as you know, Alabama starts, um, you know, five five defensive players that are freshmen so I mean you got to equate for that when you talk about the defensive concerns for the Alabama Crimson Tide there's Nick Saban right in the center of your screen always watching the defensive secondary calls himself a graduate assistant um, here's Jared Maiden who played over 80 plays I think he had 90 total snaps against Ole Miss which is really incredible especially since it was like 110 degrees out in the field um, here's another shot of DeMarco Hellams and as you can see just really good athleticism as he goes through this individual workout we're going to zoom across and check out the outside linebackers there's Terrell Lewis number 24 and I mean he has two sacks in the season I think the two sacks have been you know times where he just completely flew right through the offensive line was able to get to the quarterback and when he's ready to go full steam, there's Anthony Jennings, number 33, um, who's looked great as well. I think Terrell Lewis is going to just uh, be there when you really need him, right? I think uh, he's going to definitely do that. Moving to the quarterbacks, here's Tua Tungo Valoa, who is just having an incredible season. This is a great angle right here. I think you can really see the velocity that Tungo Valoa has as he whips the ball literally right at the camera. Check, check out that angle. Angle And... Uh, Really, really impressive. Here's Mac Jones. Uh, Mac Jones also, uh, you know, he's got a couple reps this season. And I'm kind of kind of curious to see if Mac Jones is, um, you know, how he fares during actual game time. Um, here's Talia Tonga Valoa, um, the brother of Tua Tonga Valoa. A lot of people say that he could be the quarterback next year, but maybe that could be Mac Jones. Um, here's Paul Tyson. Um, little off right there, accuracy-wise. And this next one, he puts it right on the money. What do you think about the quarterback situation uh, for next year? I know a lot of people are excited about Bryce Young, and rightfully so. I mean, the kid is, is completely balling out. But Talia, I mean, he, he looks like he's a guy who could really get some reps next year, and so does Mac Jones. But I guess maybe that's a conversation that's to be had for next season. But each time we've seen him, uh, he's fared pretty pretty decently. Here's Slade Bolden. Um, I know he's a fan favorite, and he had uh, – you know, big game against South Carolina not too long ago. Here's Xavier Williams, uh, number nine, right in the center of your screen to the right. That's Jalen Waddle. As you can see right now, the receivers are working on their stock blocking skills. And I think this is a good video because you get a, a chance and an opportunity to see what goes into this Alabama receiving unit when these guys work on their stock blocking drills. I mean, yeah, these guys are catching for hundreds of yards. Here's Devontae Smith, you know, the MVP of uh, this last game but look I mean still going through working on the stock block and this team we've talked about it these receivers are very selfless and are able to always get downfield and spring that block that really opens up running lanes for the receivers or the running backs here's John Mechie who um, you know it'll be excited to see exciting to see when he gets on the field because he has just a tremendous amount of athleticism speed that combination should provide a lot of yards uh, lastly we're going to check out the offensive line 
as you can see, uh, this is a good one. You got Landon Dickerson, who's really shined this year for Alabama at that guard position. Big, nasty, right? Getting in there, flexing on the defensive line. And right there, there's uh, Evan Neal. And here's Deontay Brown, who was um, finally eligible after serving a four-game suspension. As you can see, those dudes are monsters, right? A lot of people want to see Deontay Brown, but I think Evan Neal has, you know, he's really solidified that spot, at least for now at that guard position. Here's Alex Sutherwood getting some reps. Here's Matt Womack, another guy who's provided some good depth. And um, that's uh, Scott Lashley right there working. That's Tommy Brown, number 75. A lot of depth with this offensive line. And I think we saw, you know, a really good game overall from this unit uh, against Ole Miss and, um, you know, be eager to see how they continue to improve because I think they're doing a great job. Well, you can catch our coverage at BamaInsider.com. Nick Saban will also speak, so be uh, watching for that content on our YouTube channel. Thanks for subscribing on BamaInsider.com. Remember, if you want to get free 30 days, go to the website, sign up. Promo code for free 30 days to get behind the paywall is simply Roll Tide. I'm coming to you outside the Malmore Athletic Complex from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama.